to create a location in DroneDesk, we're going to click on the plus icon in the locations card. That will take us straight to the create location. Right, so you need to give the location a name as indicated by the asterisk and the dagger. So it has to be unique in the system for your account. Uh, you can enter a what three words address, postcode, lat and long, easting and northing, or you can pan and zoom on the map to find the location. So let's use what three words by way of example. So if I zoom out, if I've clicked on the what three words uh, link, and it's taken me straight to what three words. So all you need to do is click on the map in what three words, and it will give you the what three words address. I'll just jump back to drone desk. Uh, so I'm going to paste the what three words address and tab out of that field. And you can see what's happened is drone desk has filled in the postcode, the lat long east and northing. It's dropped a 30, 50, 150 meter radius on the map um, to give me an indication as to whether or not there's going to be any challenges immediately in the vicinity. Um, we've got the grid refs, the elevation, and the postal town too. You can change the view in the map to uh, satellite if you want to. And you can optionally switch on or off ground hazards, air hazards, and FRZs. So if I zoom out a bit, it looks like there's a ground hazard nearby. So we've got a railway um, and a power cable, but nothing, nothing to worry about there. You can optionally set a image location, or a location image rather, um, to help you with identifying the the location in your um, locations table. You can give it a category, uh, so a freeform field, which you might use to help categorize your locations, and that will help you can search for those that category in the search box on the locations table. And then you can optionally um, assign, assign this location as an asset location, so where you might share um, centrally stored drones between a number of pilots, then you might want to specify a location where that drone is stored, and then you can keep track of the asset um, at that location by virtue of checking it in, checking it out. If I decide this location isn't quite right, um, then I can zoom right out. Um, and in order to specify a new location, all I need to do is double click on the map and it will shift everything around, everything updates, uh, and we're good to go at that new location. So we'll save that record, close, and the table will filter uh, to my new location, and we're good to go. So from here, we can create a um, new project or a new job specifically for this location if we needed to. Okay, that's how to create a location in DroneDesk.